Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Mountain High Hockey. Okay, last couple weeks we worked on our skating and our edge work. We worked on our balance, and that's the base of us being hockey players. This week we're going to get a puck out here and we're going to learn the correct way to pass. Puck! Here you go! Here you go, puck! Here you go, puck! Now, the biggest thing that we're going to work on is we're going to work on using our stick as a lever. We're going to work on keeping our top hand nice and low. This is going to allow our stick blade to be over the puck and keep the puck flat when we're passing at our intended target. Now, normally you would go and we'd use our body weight to make hard passes, but today we're just going to do a drill that just works on our hands. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get with a partner or we could get against the boards and we're going to keep our toes pointed at our intended target. We're going to have our knees bent making sure they're over our toes and we make sure our top hand is in front of our body and our back and our bottom hand is nice and low on the stick. Now remember, when we do this drill, if we're just starting to get comfortable, it doesn't matter if we have our head up right now. It's all about the placement of our hands, using our stick as a lever and making sure that our knees are nice and bent over our toes. So our top hand's out in front, our bottom hand comes on the stick. This also allows for flexion in the stick which allows us to get that torque out of these expensive sticks that we're using. This also brings our knees down, our knees over our toes, and allows us to be strong on the puck. Now, when we have our, hand, our top hand out in front of our body nice and low, this allows our stick blade to be cupped over the puck. If our stick blade is over the puck, we're gonna keep the puck flat and we're gonna be able to get it to our intended target. Now, the biggest thing with our knee bend is to make sure our knees are over our toes. So then when Kevin here wants to make a pass, I put some pressure on him, he's able to still finish his target here with his top hand being out in front. If you're having trouble getting our stick blade over the puck, Let's use one hand, just our top hand, and try passing with just our one hand. This is going to allow us to get our top hand out in front, and it's also going to build up strength in our top hand. Now I put two hands on the stick, and nothing changes. The reason why we're working with passing the puck with our hands right now is because hockey's unpredictable and a lot of time there's guys hanging on us. So we have to be able to make plays with guys hanging on our lower body and us still being able to use our hands. Gone are the days that we just shoot pucks and pass pucks from that same sideways position because the game is played while we're moving north and south and east and west. So we gotta be able to make passes with our hands. Thanks for tuning in to Mountain High Hockey and I wanna thank Kevin here who's been around forever He's an old veteran, and he's a great guy working on skill development every day. Et à tous les francophones, à la semaine prochaine, et à la deutschsprachige, bis nächste Woche. Here at Mountain High Hockey, we just want to throw a special shout out to Jeremy at How To Hockey. We're huge fans of what he does, and the reason why we started Mountain High Hockey is because we're passionate about growing the game. It wasn't just for the high level skill player who's going to play professional hockey. We started this company to make sure that everyone from four and five years old all the way up to 75, 80 can enjoy the game that we love. And skill development is happening every day regardless of what level you're playing and it's just fun to get better at things. For all of you that don't know who, what How To Hockey is, which I'm sure isn't many of you because he's awesome, there's a link that's in the description at the bottom of the page, so make sure you click it and check it out. Today, I'm gonna work you through a series of edge drills that we can do to work on our balance, our coordination, and our edge work before practice starts, or even if we're on a public session, we can do these drills.